Hey guys, so today I want to show you how to recreate this uh, full width, full height splash page banner image above a blog post in Squarespace. This is on the Wall Street Journal. Wall Street Journal is awesome for web design. They were actually one of the first to start putting their news publications online. So they've got really cool stuff. I love to take, take inspiration from them. And so let's jump in. Let's figure out how to do this for our Squarespace 7.1 blogs because right now you can't add banner images on top of them. All right, so here we are. Here's my uh, tutorial page that you might be watching this on and also where you'll get all the code to do this. Um, you'll see I've partitioned up this page into about four different tabs. About steps, you'll have the video and some steps there. And then here is the code. So high level, what you're gonna be wanting to do is install this JavaScript in there. Just put that in your page header code injection, not the blog post code injection, but your page header. Um, just And just for that blog too, you don't have to do it for the entire website, just for this blog. And then we're gonna throw in, we got a good bit of CSS, so we're gonna throw it, that into our custom CSS area. So let's jump in and do that. I'm just gonna copy that. I have my test website over here. Uh, you'll see, I'll go back to pages. Here's our blog called Initiatives. I'm gonna jump into that, hit this gear icon advanced and then this is what I was referring to page header code injection not your blog post item code injection I'm gonna go into there and just paste that JavaScript um, and if you want to try and learn JavaScript just jump in here this is kind of readable what this is saying is we're gonna grab the the image from our metadata and this is the image that is gonna be shared on social so right now it's pulling the background image so if we come jump back to my website here this background image, it's pulling from the image that I uploaded in my thumbnail. As I'm creating an article, you'll see here, we'll jump in here. If I was going to edit this article, hit edit, hit this gear icon, you'll see options. This is the image that we're pulling from the JavaScript. It's also the image that is uploaded here. So if you put a different alternate social sharing image, this social sharing image will override the thumbnail image so do that if you want but just know that really it's the social sharing image that's being put in the background so it's just grabbing that image and then throwing it back there then moving our title and description above so this is my blog post title this is my description it's putting it in there so we have got let's exit out of this we've added our JavaScript right here so we're good now let's go add our CSS. Let's just grab this, highlight it all, copy, go back to our design tab, custom CSS, throw it in there. Now if I click on a blog post, there we go. So now we're looking good. And you'll see, if you know CSS, you can go in and customize it as much as you want. I wouldn't change any of the display things or flex directions alignment. Um, I would mostly play around. You can change this background uh, linear gradient. This is a linear gradient in the background of this image uh, of the text really here that's like starts transparent here and goes to black. So if you change this 0.6 maybe to 0.1, you'll see it's like fully black down there. So this is a way you can play around with the background color here if you want. Uh, we have our color white for our H1, so you can change that to blue. You can change the font size here if you need to. Again, don't mess around with much of the margin stuff unless you really know what you're doing. Uh, let's change this back to white. Uh, and then we got, you can change your paragraph stuff. Yeah, just a bunch of stuff. So if you know what you're doing, want to play around, feel free to do that. Um, I've also added in, you'll see on my website, we don't have any uh, uh, categories here, so nothing's displaying above the title, but I have some categories over here. And you'll see here's two categories, Squarespace 7.1 and plugins. They're delineated by this uh, vertical line right here. So you can see in the CSS, in this blog meta item categories, if it's not the first type, we're gonna delineate it with this. So you can change that to you know whatever you want if you wanna play around with uh, making that customized to what you want it to be. So there we go, hit save. Again, because of the way I've written the JavaScript, it's only going to be applied to blogs that have images. So if I go back into here, let's go to Ocean Advocacy. Let's just hit edit. You'll see if I go in here and delete our thumbnail image, delete that, hit apply, 
Let's see if that... And now there's nothing up there. So as long as you have a thumbnail image, it'll put it up there. If it's not, none of that code's gonna run. So there we go, hope that helps. If you do this, if you add this to your website, let me know. I would love to see how you've customized it and made it look cool. I'd even share it uh, with my audience and on my website, I think that'd be awesome. So sign up for my newsletter if you want more tutorials like this. Follow me on YouTube, any of that jazz if you are interested in learning more about Squarespace and coding.